How are you tonight, Pete? May I could not be better, Cynthia. I'm deliriously happy tonight. Oh, why? I'm not actually. I'm just it's it's just it's, delirious. it's Wednesday and it feels like it's Friday. <laughs> You're still riding that Northern Lights. Man, it was honestly oh, yeah. again. I have not seen these, but but ever in person. Yeah. But I talked to my friends on my way home last night in Montana. They were texting me pictures, and it was crazy. Amazing up there. Yeah, I mean the, the, the I mean what they saw last night in Montana and yep. the northern tier of the nation and a couple friends of mine in Alaska It was he unbelievable shared a couple pictures. They yeah. <laughs> It was crazy stunning. You it was got crazy. more pictures for us. I have tonight? pictures. Uh, okay. They're from Texas now okay. The question is will we see the northern lights tonight? So this is what it looked like last night. This is uh, Michelle Smith up in uh, Boyd uh, We have a couple of other pictures here Brittany Frost and Sanger. I mean some really brilliant pictures right here uh, and my forecast tonight it's the forecast tonight is the same forecast from last night. Now follow me here. So tonight, again, same deal as last night, the same forecast, okay? Here's your best visibility, the northern tier of the country, then of course Canada and Alaska. Uh, moderate visibility just a little farther south, and then the viewing line is just like last night. And I know you're thinking, what's he talking about? We had it down here last night. I'm not making this up. Last night, this was the exact same forecast. Here's the viewing line. Here's one thing I know about the northern lights, the aurora borealis, okay? These geomagnetic storms, you think it's hard to forecast the weather. Actually, you don't know, but I'll tell you. It's, well, you know the result of it. You're like, he doesn't know what he's talking about. He said rain and it's dry. The, forecasting these geomagnetic storms is incredibly more difficult. It's challenging and many times they're just flat out wrong, okay? Last night, this was the forecast last night. It, it was just flat out wrong. This is the forecast tonight. But that viewing line last night, of course, it dipped down into the state of Texas. We saw uh, the northern lights were seen last night in central Texas and all through the deep south, even across the panhandle of Florida. So hopefully the forecast tonight is as wrong as it was last night and you'll be able to see it. Now, a lot of folks in North Texas saw it last night with a naked eye. Uh, some people weren't able to see it with a naked eye, but they took their phone, they had a low, uh, low exposure, and then they shot up into the sky. And they're like, oh my gosh, it looks great on my, my iPhone or my Android. So do that tonight. Even if you don't see it, go outside, take a picture with your phone and maybe you'll be able to see it that way. Uh, hopefully, once again, this forecast is wrong, just like it was last night. The, sto uh, the storm is stronger than it was last night, and we'll get a, a, a vivid display tonight of the northern lights. Uh, look to the north. The best chance to view is after 8.30 at night, and again, it's that long exposure on your camera. Just check out that setting. Google it if you can't figure out how to do the long exposure on your camera, but that really is a difference maker.